All right, let me give you my first impressions here on this really nifty little RC car built by the guys at Printed Nest. First of all, let me say in the printing instructions, there's a lot of information about different filaments that you could use to print it. I, however, just printed pretty much everything here in PLA. I used TPU for the bumpers and for the belts and for the tires, and I used some PETG and ABS for things like the motor mount and the gears that are going to get a little bit more stressed. But everything else is just printed in simple PLA, so don't let that scare you. This is driven by a 35T brush motor that does seem to get a bit hot, and I'm running a 2S LiPo battery, a 20 kilogram servo, and a FlySky receiver. First off, I do really like this futuristic body. It's what drew me to the model in the first place. And it's super cool to see how Printed Nest designed it with the little drawers that go into the different sections and it's all screwed together with M2 screws and nuts. It's really neat. This is the first car like that that I've built. I also like how this car uses the maximum amount of 3D printed parts that you could put into a vehicle. There's really nothing in the way of metal components in it other than some screws and the electronics. It's got a 3D printed TPU suspension, which in the back here is adjustable. It uses printed axles, printed gears, printed belts, printed tires, printed bumpers, which makes it very accessible for someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of money building an RC car. In general, things seem to fit together pretty well, and it seems pretty sturdy, and I really like these TPU bumpers on the front and the rear. They're going to help you if you crash into a wall. Now on the flip side, the tires, being that they're just made out of TPU, are super slippy. I really wish it had an option for rubber tires so you get just a bit more control. The suspension works, but it's not a great suspension, so I wouldn't expect any damping or anything like that. The 3D printed gears don't have any collars on them, so I find the belt does slip off a bit and tends to grind into the side of the transmission case, which is unfortunate. And the rear axle is completely solid, meaning that when you combine that with TPU tires, it's quite slippy. So I think this is a great project for someone who really likes the design of the model and wants to try something just a little bit different, think outside the box. It's for someone who is interested in exploring new and different ways of constructing 3D printed RC models. And it's going to be good for someone who isn't going to be put off by an RC car that doesn't drive like one you're going to find at a hobby shop. Because it's fun to play with, but don't expect to win any races with it. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful in some way. If so, please consider giving us a like or subscribe. It really helps us out. And as always, if you're looking for cool ideas of 3D printed projects like this one to build, kits, parts, or instructions on how to build them, make sure you check us out at rcprinter.com.